Pretty Fall Pampered Chef, I wanted to pop on and show you a new recipe that I'm loving from our new season's best. It's called Roasted Chicken and Asparagus. And we're gonna create a pan sauce and we're going to sear in our brand new non-stick skillet, which is non-stick, so you can do things that um, you never thought you could do. So I've got my chicken. It calls for chicken breasts, but it's actually, I just used, it calls for chicken thighs, but I used chicken uh, cutlets because that's what I had. So I've got Dijon rub. If you haven't seen our splatter screen, it's amazing. It's nice and stainless. You can take a quick peek if you want. This looks pretty good. So searing is actually using a high heat to create a nice golden crust um, on your shrimp, your meat, and it's about two to three minutes per side. And we've got that nice golden crust. But guess what, everybody? Searing is done in stainless best. So you're not, you're, it's not going to be cooked. It's just going to be seared on the outside. The other night I used my 10 inch stainless skillet. These are brand new from the Pampered Chef. And I seared salmon and it was the best flavor I have ever had because that's what they typically do at restaurants. They sear it and then we're gonna cook it in the oven. So I have always loved my stainless and my nonstick from Pampered Chef and we have a brand new line. But the stainless, it washes up easy. And I'm gonna tell you a secret. I put Dijon mustard rub on this. That's not my secret. But you can see it's very golden, golden brown. Um, searing actually gets a caramelization going on between either sugar um, <coughs> or just high, high heat mixed with vegetables. So that's the first step. So this stainless pan is piping, piping hot. Um, there are lots of differences between the, sta the new stainless and the, and the new non-stick line. <laughs> One thing is if you want to save space, our non-stick line, probably can't do it um, but right now, but the handle pops right off and they are dishwasher safe now. Um, these, both of these pans will melt your meat in 20 minutes or so if you forget to defrost it. But anyway, so I've seared my chicken, which again is really something you can only do after uh, when you have high, high heat. Okay, so what is going on in this pan right now? Hmm, I never really knew. That is a fond, and it's what's left in the pan after you sear your food. But we don't wanna scrub it away. It's packed with a ton of flavor. And we're going to do something in a minute called deglazing, and again, Everybody, this is something I never thought I could do, sear, deglaze, because I was afraid of stainless. I was afraid of having to, you know, I love the nonstick. Um, so you kind of have to pick your pan based upon your cooking style, but the Pamper Chef has allowed you to have two great options. <coughs> so, got that. So what's left in there, we're going to add, we're going to deglaze it with some delicious, um, onions, mushrooms, and garlic, and we're gonna saute that. So what I've done here is I've used our simple slicer. Our simple slicer cuts everything evenly, so I have just put my onion right on here. Um, I put it on, there's a little teeth on the simple slicer. I go back and forth, and you can put your, you know, your carrots, you can put your, um, oops, going right in. You can put your mushrooms, you can put your tomatoes, your onions. Hmm, I also take my cucumber and I just go back and forth and it's got three different widths. So if you want really, really thinly sliced, you're gonna put it on a one. There's two and a three. And if you wanna lock it for safety, watch, woo, yep, I'm gonna do that. Okay, always make sure you use the food guard because people have had accidents when they don't. So that's a simple slicer, and I'm starting to do that. We also have a really nice piece of, a new collection of teak. So these are our teak tools. Um, 
Ooh, it smells really good. So I'm gonna put all the onions in here that I've cut. And they are just going to sweat a little bit. And I learned in our new season's best, you can learn all of these fun little, uh, kind of like chef words and lingo. I'm going to sweat the onions and I'm gonna use our amazing garlic press. If you've never used our garlic press, wow, you're missing out. You don't have to peel the garlic. garlic. And a lot of you may buy that jarred garlic, but it's really got other things to keep it fresh, so it's always good to get the fresh. Okay, and there you go. So right, the peel is right there. Has a little tool if you don't feel like touching the garlic. So I'm just gonna put two or three cloves in here. I just used my knife, but. And we're gonna keep sweating these for just about two to three minutes. So we had that delicious bond. I'm gonna turn the heat down a little bit. That we created. Do one more garlic. Woo! A lot of garlic in here. Smells really good. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, now that everything is cooking right in that pond, which is what was left after we seared the chicken. And I just wanted to show you, here's our new tool turnabout. So the teak, and we also have a lot of multicolor tools now that are this color and orange and bright. They look great in this new tool turnabout. And I love this because this middle piece comes out and it turns and it also has a built-in stainless steel spoon rest. So really nice, one of my favorites. It looks great on my counter. Okay, so that's about two to three minutes. So now we're going to what we call deglaze. De we are going to add a third a cup of chicken broth or white wine and, oops, and this is actually going to loosen that nice fawn that was left in after we seared. So there's a lot of great juices. You don't wanna just clean the pan. So we've got a third a cup of either white wine or chicken broth. And then I'm going to juice some lemon with our citrus press, which is awesome. It is almost springtime. This is all kind of soaking in. And I'm actually gonna get out my good old so our citrus press is awesome. Oh, we've got a lot of extra onions in here. So with the chicken seared in the Dijon mustard rub, and then the onions and the garlic, I'm gonna use my same knife. I'm going to cut a lemon. I'm also on a really nice brand new Acacia wood cutting board. Really nice, um, just good quality cutting board. The other side makes a good cheese board. So let's talk citrus press. Here we go. I'm gonna put it hump side up. A lot of people don't do that when they use it. Hump side up. And it is, like I was saying, spring, summer, mojito time, really nice. Watch this. You're going to press it. And it's going to turn your lemons and limes inside out, pretty much. And the other thing that I love about our citrus press, everybody, is voila, the seeds are caught and it really turns it inside out. So that's another great benefit. Great item. One of my favorites around this time of year. So all of this is going to soak in our brand new uh, nonstick stainless pan, which again, I was always afraid of nonstick. I never could, you know, bring myself to use my old nonstick pan that was in uh, my old stainless pan that I had earned from Pampered Chef when I first started five years ago. So that's just gonna simmer. And I wanna kinda bring you closer because this may not look like a lot, but it smells like a lot. And then we're gonna add some mushrooms. Now you can get the baby bell mushrooms that are already cut, or you can get the whole bella mushroom. Uh, baby bellas, put them right in a uh, handful in the simple slicer put it down and get them all nice and evenly sliced. So we've got this sauteing in here 
And I've also cut up, I'm gonna let that kind of sit again. So I, I've also cut up our asparagus, okay, in our, in our smallest glass mixing bowl. Something really great about asparagus is that you can just break it um, to know where that fibrous point is. So I take an asparagus stalk and I just hold it on both ends and I break it. And wherever it breaks is where uh, you can, you know, determine where the good part of the asparagus is. I don't know if you, you know, people usually cut their asparagus or snip off the ends, but it tells you without even uh, having to think. So I just take my stalks, I break them, and then I just use my same knife, cut them up. So this recipe has onions, garlic, mushrooms, um, and another thing we're gonna put in here is, I'm gonna turn the heat up to get these mushrooms going, tomatoes. So this is, oh, and I forgot to show you our salt and pepper grinder right here. Love it, the salt goes right in the top. Um, salt and pepper, this is coarse Himalayan salt from Pamper Chef. Open these grinders up, boop, pour your Himalayan salt in, and I'm just gonna give this a call, you know, the recipe calls for salt, but you're just gonna give it the right amount of salt. Couple. So this looks really nice on a table too. A lot of my hosts choose to get that for half off. Okay, so our chicken is nicely seared. What's gonna happen with this is we're gonna be putting it and finishing it off in the oven. Oh, well, let me get back to the tomatoes. This is our closing cut. It is amazing for cooking everything, uh, not cooking, <laughs> for slicing everything evenly. So I'm going to use the color-coded knife. It's blue. It's that nice electric blue. All of our color-coded knives come with a nice little lid. This is the chef's knife. So if you're looking for a knife that's not as, you know, it's a little bit more inexpensive than our Forge Cutlery Collection. Sorry. Um, but it's it does an awesome job cutting. Um, it's more of a disposable knife. So I am going to use the clothes and cut right now. Just kind of keep these sweating here. The mushrooms are cooking. And I've got some cherry tomatoes. I'm going to put it down. I'm going to put some pressure, get my knife started, and shimmy it. This works great for a fat chicken breast that you want a butterfly bagels, mozzarella balls, and people are always amazed by this because look, absolutely cut in half. So cool. So just a really neat um, thing that I love that I can't really live without because when I'm making a salad in the morning, I wanna cut a bunch of tomatoes quickly and boom, I cut them. Okay, so this looks like it's good. These are all combined. We seared, we've got our fond, we deglazed, all because of the new stainless steel non-stick cookware. So I'm gonna turn it up a little bit. I showed you before our fabulous, uh, great something to add on, if you're thinking of something. Um, our thingy, splatter screen. So now that these are all kind of, you know, simmering, we're gonna add tomatoes, asparagus, and then we're just gonna plop our chicken on it. So we've really done the majority of the work, of the work, the tomatoes. Doesn't this just look so pretty already? And the, oops. So we're gonna put that all in. I'm going to incorporate it. Just kind of get the, everything going. And then the last piece of the recipe is simply putting on our, dun, dun, dun. Um, we're gonna pop the chicken thighs, if you're using thighs like the recipe calls for, which is delicious. Um, I told you I happen to have a ton of chicken breast, so that's what I used. Um, so just to get you a little closer here, all the vegetables, there's a nice fond in there. We've got some nice white wine flavors, uh, chicken broth, whichever you're using. Low cal, really healthy, gluten-free, high fiber. And what we're gonna do now is just pop the chicken breast that we use the Dijon mustard with 
and that we have already seared, but they're not cooked 100% because searing just caramelizes the outside. Mm, look at that. And you could do this in a 10 inch stainless steel, but I like to put it in, I'm actually gonna put in all of our juices too. And so we've got the final step is to pop this in the oven and we're going to roast it for about 12 to 15 minutes. So if you use chicken thighs, you're gonna use four, about four to five chicken thighs. It's a good thing this pan is nice and thick. And then we're just going to put it, I'm gonna bring it closer here. So this is our roasted chicken and asparagus, and it's a great summer meal, um, very light, actually any time of the year. But what I love about it is our brand new stainless skillet. We've used the clothes and cut, and a bunch of other great products here, our simple slicer, our glass mixing bowl, color-coded knife. So. Have a great night and I hope you enjoyed learning some new cooking techniques.